what we need in our age is to direct our attention towards Paul. We are in an age in which there's neither Jew nor Gentile. We are in an age in which God's focus spiritually is not uh, on the nation of Israel any more than it's on any other nation. God is preserving the nation of Israel because the time of the Gentiles will come to an end and he is keeping the nation of Israel together in which he'll do something with him in the future. But God's work is, uh, it, it is uh, regardless of Jew or Gentile and really it is, his uh, focus is on the Gentile. Now, with that taken, if you and I use Matthew, Mark, uh, or Luke especially, and uh, we use them as our guide for living, we end up with a theological mess. And there's a lot of that mess out there. When uh, people take uh, the, the uh, e even uh, WWJD, right? What would Jesus do? You can't go wrong there, can you? Until you try to walk on that water. Uh, and the, the problem with what, what WWJD is, not only I don't know what Jesus would do, all I know is what he did, uh, and furthermore, uh, Paul says, you follow me, I'll follow Christ. So, uh, go get you a new bracelet, WWPD. Uh, what would Paul do? And you go out and do what Paul would do. Paul's not going to lead you astray and get you to do something that would be uh, unchristlike or, uh, or, or unbiblical. He is going to interpret all of this stuff that was given unto the Jews. And he's going to help you know how to apply it now when you're not a Jew. Or all this stuff that was given under the law, like everything that Jesus ever taught was given to people who are under the law, right? And so we, we, we can take that and say, okay, now I'm not under the law. So what do I do with some of these commands?